Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, my Montessori Monarchs and my Lemoyne Gators. This guy right here is Buddy Dog. It's my one of my four pups. Um, he and I have been going on a lot of walks and hikes this week. I just wanted to show you who I've been working out with and doing my exercise with. His name is Bud. Um, so, I hope uh, all of you are healthy and safe and enjoying the, the nice weather that we've been having. Um, I try to get out as much as possible, go on hikes with my dog, with Bud, and my other dogs. This week, we are working on um, one of our five components of fitness, that is uh, muscular endurance. Muscular endurance is the ability of a muscle or group of muscles to repeatedly contract against the resistance for an extended period of time. So what it comes down to is your ability to do uh, to do something for a long period of time. Sort of like cardiovascular endurance, but this is for your muscle group. So actually running is a muscular endurance. So running and cardiovascular, when you're doing, when you're running, you are working on both because it's your ability of your muscles to do something for a long period of time. So our five components of fitness are all kind of connected. If you, when you work on one, you're really working on all. Um, there's a difference between our two is muscular endurance and muscular strength. And I actually have a video that I'm gonna um, tweet on my Syracuse City School District physical education page, or Twitter account, excuse me. And I'm also going to attach the email that I'm sending out. Take a chance to um, think about uh, parents, ask your, your, your children, students, my students, ask your parents if they can think of some uh, muscular endurance activities that you can do or just think about what you can do when you can get outside and be uh, social but keeping our social distance. Uh, so running is one. Uh, if you are doing um, a lot of push-ups, that's muscular endurance, being able to do something for a long time. If I grab a, uh, when we use our our fitness stations, when we grab our five pound little dumbbell and we do it as many times as we can, that's muscular endurance. Or if you grab something heavy and you hold it out, when we have our uh, kettlebells, we try to hold it as far as, we, as long as we can, straight out. That's muscular endurance. Um, try some activities uh, with your family. Uh, we'll have an uh, or I'll, excuse me. I'll have an attachment on the emails that you can click on that'll have work to do and some examples and how you can log things that you're doing and some ideas for the month. Hopefully, we can get back to school. I went into the school myself on Friday. No. Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, I forget now, it's all blurring. And uh, got some equipment and some things, uh, papers, so I can continue your distance learning. Unfortunately, we can't go back into school yet. But sooner than later, we're gonna get back in there and we'll all be super happy to be back in the gym. Uh, one of our, our tasks, one of the activities for this week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday I want you to try to do this is this activity is called spell your name and spell your name workout is you take your name so coach Stewart I'll take the S and there'll be an activity that I have to do and then I'll move next I'll go to the T and Stewart do that activity E W A R T and then each one of the letters has a workout and the sheet will be attached to uh, the email. Uh, so hopefully you get a chance to do that. On Monday, I want you to just do the workout for your name. On Wednesday, I want you to do the workout for a family member's name. Uh, you get to pick your whichever one you wanna uh, work on. Don't make it a real small one. Try to get at least five letters. Um, and Friday, um, do your favorite teacher's name. Whatever your favorite, it could be uh, one of your special teachers, your classroom teacher, an old teacher you had in previous years. Do your favorite teacher's name. 
write it out, and then do the corresponding workout. So I'm going to challenge you. Um, I Like I said before, I have that uh, my physical education Twitter account, which is mm -hmm. at, at mm -hmm. S C S D Coach Stewart. So it's at S C S D C O A C H S T E W. Picture of me, I follow it. And uh, so here my challenge is with parents' permission, make a video of doing uh, spell my name, or if you're doing something else, maybe you want to go for. A hike with your family or you're playing basketball show me your skills show me what you're doing I tweet it to me and then I will uh, retweet it so other our friends all other friends can see it um, but make sure you have your parents permission and you're allowed that your parents say you can do that or if you want to just email it to me um, the emails you get from your parents that I sent to your parents you can always email it to me and just show me and then if you don't want me to post it say coach please don't post it but I want to show you that's fine. I also am going to attach a it's a it's a packet, but it's a, an attachment, and it's going to have a list of many ideas of to be active in your house and while well, you're home. Some of it is going to be outside a little bit, and if you can get outside, get outside. Uh, make sure we're keeping social distances, six feet away from people from others. You want it and. Uh, uh, you can still be active with the social distance distancing excuse me um, I hope you're all doing really well and I'm missing teaching all of you and seeing you in the gym and being active if you have any questions parents please email me tweet me um, however you want to communicate with me it's great if you have any ideas or things that you want to run past me please contact me any way possible all right have a good day. Be safe and and stay safe and healthy. I had trouble speaking today. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.